today's video topic is how to change the source for your pbix file from your local computer to SharePoint Online. And we've done this before, however, somebody pointed out in the comments that there's a better place to get the file path, and I totally agree with that, so I am just updating that to reflect the better place to get that from. So. Uh, if you missed the last one, the use case for doing this is to, um, well, number one, have your files that are a source for your reports be in a place that is not only on your local machine, so in the cloud, backed up, accessible to other people, and also you don't need to use the gateway to refresh on that source. So um, we're going to move, in this case, we have for our source here, have a JSON file. And the JSON file is on my local computer, and I'm going to upload this to SharePoint and then change the file path. And this sounds like it would be really straightforward. However, SharePoint Online does some really weird things to file paths that makes it a little bit uh, less intuitive than you would expect. So what I'm going to do is open up SharePoint here, and I've just got a plain SharePoint site. Any SharePoint Online site will work. Uh, SharePoint on-premise will work too, but you need to use the gateway if it's on-premise. So I've got my JSON file here. I'm just going to drag and drop it into a SharePoint library. And there it is. And I'm going to go to the full document library, which is this one here, because you get more menu options in here. And then I'm going to click on the file. So I'm not going to click on the file name because that'll open the file. I'm just going to highlight this file. And then click on this little eye icon in the corner here. So this is going to give me my file properties. And from here, if I scroll all the way down, there is a thing that says path, and that is what you want. Because if you open up this file in SharePoint, it'll give you, um, if it's a JSON file, it'll give you a file preview URL, and this URL won't work. If it's, um, if it's an Excel file, it will give you uh, the Excel online link, which will not work. So we need the actual file path. So what we copied just going to paste it in the top URL bar here is just a, a very straightforward, uh, clean path to your file. So we're going to use that in Power BI and just click on your source step. And now we're just going to replace everything between the double quotes here. That and then hit this check mark icon. And it gives me a message, which actually is fine. If you go in here to edit settings, it'll fix it. So what's happening is the reference to a local file is a little bit different than the reference to the online file. The connector is set up a little bit differently. So this just resets it, basically. So you just um, click OK on this box that you've opened. And it wants my login information because I haven't signed in. All right, so now let's go to our last step to make sure that worked, and it did. So we are now good to go. So this can be going to apply. All right, so our file references are now pointed to SharePoint Online, so we can go ahead and schedule a refresh if we want to um, without using the gateway. And that was it. Thank you for watching.